Hello folks all over the world, there is no limit to the imagination of some video creators, and lately they are specializing more and more in disguising fake paranormal entities, such as the case of the video on the Reddit forum, where a guy claims that his wife has captured a strange entity in the bedroom mirror in their home. Looking closely at the video, we understand that a bottle has been placed in front of a light source to generate what appears to be a transparent shadow in motion, but which is actually the oval shape of the bottle, mixed with the refraction of the glass. Without proper attention, it is easy to fall into these traps. Luckily the Reddit community flagged this in the comments, for everyone to notice. My friends, in analyzing the video traffic of this channel, we realized that over 97% of our users are not subscribed to the channel, if you like this content and want our work to continue, subscribe to the channel and leave a like, it costs you nothing, but your gesture gives a future to this channel. Poltergeist on Young Children Two days ago on February 21, 2023, user Pkant W posted a strange video on the Reddit forum that piqued our interest. Although it may seem like a trivial child's game, there are details about the video that don't convince us. The video has the following title. Ghost trying to take my son's water bottle. He says mine and give it back. While this may all sound smooth, if you listen closely there are EVPs in the audio. The post has garnered many likes, however these weird EVPs have escaped. It's a lightweight empty bottle, as the child handles it easily at the beginning of the video, but then it seems to be pulled away by a strange downward force, and the child struggles to get it back. It may just be a child's game, but these strange background voices, remain inexplicable. Spirits are watching you. And now pay attention because the story behind this video is really creepy, a terrible tale. We are located in Florida, exactly in Panama City Beach. We are in the early 1900s and the wealthy Martin family has recently bought a house. As the stories go, when the Martin family occupied the residence, they employed servants that would come to work daily. That is, until Martin found out that his beautiful wife was becoming too close to one of the male servants. It's said by some, that one day, in a fit of rage, Martin hung the young servant from the big oak tree near the water. Martin made his wife watch this horrific scene. Local rumors, and word within the psychic community, say that Martin couldn't take it anymore, he knew they were all whispering about the events that took place. Angry, Martin went home and strung his wife and children up in the big oak tree by the river, just like the servant and, after murdering his family, he went on to hang himself too. The locals tell stories of a lady in white with black eyes haunting the upstairs, possibly the sad, forlorn wife. Trina is a social activist who lives in Florida, and owns a TikTok channel titled, The Myth Writer, where she posts videos of socio-political information, gossip and life with her dogs. On March 6, 2020, Trina passes in front of the Martin house and realizes something is wrong from the street, so takes the camera and shoots this, absolutely, incredible footage. This is the Martin house. Haunted, Panama City, Florida, my first book. And I'm just driving by randomly, Look in the window, please, somebody tell me, you see what I'm seeing. A child. He, supposedly, his, maybe, we're not sure, stories have changed over the years. Man went crazy and killed his entire family after finding out his wife was cheating with the servant. 
hung the servant on a tree that used to be in the front yard that the hurricane took out. But the stories are that the children can be seen. I see a kid. Fuck. The images from the street don't allow us to understand what Trina has taken up. Someone in the comments claims it could be a vase of flowers, but according to other users, the object has humanoid features and colors that leave no room for other interpretations. The Ghost of the Worker The next story we will talk about is set in Texas City, a port town in Galveston County, in the state of Texas, USA. It was completely narrated and documented by Alex, a construction site security officer who on his TikTok channel entitled Xalien97 told a story that really happened in his workplace. Needing to view footage from perimeter security cameras, Alex sees something utterly gruesome. Here's what he says. So I work security at this construction site, right? <clears throat> we got all the trucks. We got these real things right here. There you go. One of these. These things are heavy. Fucking. Like, you gotta really fucking push it to move it. Just a little backstory. It was a construction worker that he needed help pushing one of these. He says a guy came up to him, another worker, and he says, I got you. Just guide me and I'll push it for you. <clears throat> so I said, okay, cool. So he was guiding him. He kept telling him, back it up, back it up, back it up. And he was pushing it. When he was, when they were done, he went around the reel to tell him thank you. And uh, he says that uh, he was gone. And uh, we went to the office and, and they were looking at the, uh, the old like memorial photos of people that worked here before. Uh, some people have passed away. And he says he recognized the guy that, that helped him. Turns out that guy has been dead since 2015 pretty much eight years ago so that shit gave goosebumps to all of us and uh yeah we got that on video so check it out In the video comments, many users do not believe Alex's story, and ask for more details. Alex posts several videos, one of which shows Jose, the man in the video who is the protagonist of the story. Did you feel what happened? What happened uh, the whole story? They're, they're, they're trying to figure out if if anyone pushed it in, because they're, they're claiming that people could have, someone else could have pushed the, the row in. Yeah, uh, like, as soon as you, you get the, the reel started, pushing it, it's not that hard. The hard part was turning it. Yeah. There's, there's no way in hell I'm gonna turn this shit by myself. I, I tried it, and on that video, if you got the full clip at the end, you can see it. I give it. I try to give it a, a little tug to spin it. It wasn't budging at all. Yeah. Jose explains that the entity that helped him move the large roll of thread not only pushed it but also maneuvered so that the roll was placed in the correct direction, which is literally impossible to do individually given the enormous roll weight. Alex also posts a video where he shows the photo of the entity recognized by Jose, as an old employee of the facility, who tragically died in 2015. Alright, this is Alan Lopez, groundsman of LA, HP Communication, who was born on January 8, 1994, tragically died in June 17, 2015. He was still a kid, man, only 21 years old, would have been 29, and honestly, this gives me chills because it struck home for me. To make the situation even clearer, Alex shot a video where he tries to move one of these rolls of cable by himself. It goes without saying that man's enormous effort proves how heavy this object is. Even if you 
pushed it hard enough. It's not rolling that far, and it's coming back. We will never know the truth behind this story, but from the evidence gathered, it seems to be another case where real entities manifest themselves to the living, only to disappear into thin air seconds later. It goes without saying that these kinds of videos are the most breathtaking, because people don't gain anything from them, except to be laughed at or teased when they say this kind of thing, especially in work environments, and this only increases the truth about the story. However, there are many cleverly manipulated videos circulating on the net, such as the one published on the TikTok channel Durban Paranormal, where we see the famous Top Gear TV host, James May, filming a documentary in Italy while a ghost crosses the road behind him. After much fanfare, James himself told the press that it was a joke made by the director and insiders. We have also reached the end for this episode my friends, thank you for your kind viewing, I remind you of our social networks and leave a like to our work if you have appreciated it. See you as always in the next video, good night.